今天您将收看的是，二零一九年十二月六日，来自英国伦敦西区的原版音乐剧《马蒂尔达》正式拉开世界巡演中国上海站的大幕。大家好，观众朋友们，您现在看到的是今晚我们观剧。伦敦西区的原版音乐剧《马蒂尔达》于二零一九年十二月上演于上海文化广场。这部音乐剧自从诞生以来获奖无数。这次的世界巡演让中国观众同步欧美，欣赏到世界顶级的音乐剧作品。那今天呢，让我们一起走进神奇女孩马蒂尔达的童话世界。二零一九年十二月六日。来自英国伦敦西区的原版音乐剧《马蒂尔达》正式拉开世界巡演中国上海站的大幕。这部音乐剧取材英国国宝级作家罗尔德·达尔的同名原著，由曾出品音乐剧《悲惨世界》的英国皇家莎士比亚剧团出品，在伦敦西区一经上演，立刻轰动了音乐剧界，被媒体誉为近十年最成功的音乐剧，不仅一举夺得了英国戏剧最高奖奥利弗奖的七项大奖。更是在之后几年里，在世界范围内收获了八十六个音乐剧、戏剧类权威奖项，是拥有当代英国戏剧最高成就的作品之一。值得一提的是，中国巡演是马蒂尔达此次世界巡演的重要组成部分。其实这个剧呢，是呃英国黄沙他们授权给这个 GWB Entertainment 这个公司，然后他们。呃，来做了一个世界巡演的版本，然后我们是跟他们合作。应该说，没有中国站就不会有这个世界巡演，因为我们从呃时间来讲，是占了这个世界巡演的非常大的一部分。然后从反响来看，也是中国站的反响是最好的。马蒂尔达即使是在好戏如云的西区和百老汇，它也绝对是碾压群芳的一个音乐剧作品，它在各方面都做到了一个。人类想象力的极致的这个水平，然后可以说，中国观众对他的欢迎程度要超出了我们的想象。呃，因为他呃不但是从舞台的这个惊艳程度上去呃震撼了观众，他同时也在呃这个故事的普适性，然后他传递的信息里面，真正做到了和中国观众共鸣。就是很多观众看了他，觉得我想。再看一遍，我可能要看好几遍。然后包括里面的音乐、里面的故事给他带来的震撼，带给他带来对人生重新的反思。这个让他们对于这部剧不仅仅是一部舞台作品，不仅仅是一部音乐剧，是对他的人生有非常重大影响的作品。那这个是我们到现在呃看来，觉我们觉得非常开心的。罗尔德·达尔，英国杰出儿童文学作家、剧作家和短篇小说作家。是英国儿童图书奖、世界奇幻文学大会奖得主。二零零零年，在英国世界图书节期间的“我最喜欢的作家”读者投票中，罗尔德·达尔位列第一名，实力与 J.K. 罗琳比肩。由他创作的《查理和巧克力工厂》《了不起的狐狸爸爸》等作品，更是被改编成电影、音乐剧等艺术形式，风靡全球。《马蒂尔达》是达尔的经典代表作之一。Roald Dahl is probably, certainly in my generation, my lifetime, one of the most recognised、uh, contemporary authors,、um, and, and of course he's most known and possibly best loved for his children's literature. But he, he did, of course, write for adults too.、Um, and I think the thing that we all love about Roald Dahl is that he manages to capture life in a way that is a little extravagant and a little exaggerated,、uh, but somewhere in the middle of all of that、um, colourful. Uh, texture that he works with is a real inherent truth. So I think that's the, that's the, really the reason that his work has permeated so many lives,、um, and both children and adults. And I think certainly some people of my generation grew up reading some of those Roald Dahl classics that you mentioned: Fantastic Mr. Fox,、uh, you know, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Matilda, of course, was one of his later works.、Um, But I think we've all got、uh, a memory of of how his work and how those stories influenced our lives and our childhood and indeed some of our adult lives. Matilda is, is obviously told from the perspective or point of view of, in this case, a young girl. 
and I think there are certain aspects of it which we see through her eyes, and so we experience in that way. So the, the scale, for example, of Miss Trunchbull as the headmaster um, is vast and towering. The, um, the, uh, the darkness of, Tr of Cruncham Hall, which is her school, is um, heightened, I guess. And I think you know, it's true that uh, you, know, you have certain memories of things as a child, and then perhaps you get to revisit them when you're an adult, and you think, oh, wow, that's much smaller than I remember it being. Or so I, I certainly think there's something that's heightened um, it, it's more colourful, uh, it's more, it, it, when it's colourful it's slightly darker when it's dark. So I think it is a heightened experience, I think that is true, and I think that helps us um, see it through the eyes of a, of a younger person, in this case a young girl. Um, but I don't think it ever flips to being something that's not recognisable, I think we always recognise that experience, we always recognise that as being, there's a truth in the middle of all those experiences that um, make it罗尔德·达尔的故事一般以孩子为主角，但拥有庞大的成年读者群。在达尔笔下，童年并不是一个完美的童话世界，也会有曲折坎坷，有邪恶和正义的对抗，有困境里痛苦的挣扎，甚至有时他创造的人物身上会有些或暗黑或魔幻的气质。在马蒂尔达的故事里，成长是伴随着挣脱与自我救赎的一场场战斗。还未长大的读者，在故事里看到的是人生更丰满、更复杂的真相；而已经长大的读者，则能够看到自己一路走来的蜕变和感悟。这个剧想要表达的意思还其实其实挺多的，非常丰富，有点像说每个人根据自己的认知和经历不同，他会看出不同的意义。呃，那小朋友看到了，比如说对抗不公，或者是这个阅读改变人生；那有大人看到了这个成长、呃救赎、呃这个这个自通过自己的力量去改变无力的环境这样的多层的意义。那这个剧绝对。呃，它不会仅限于说是女孩可以。虽然说我们的 slogan 是女孩可以，这个也是契合了剧中说这个马蒂尔达，她父亲就是经常把她叫做小子，因为她是个女孩，她不太愿意跟她交流，宁愿跟自己其实不是很聪明的儿子去交流。可能现在社会上。女孩子的精神的需求，然后她们在外表之外的这些诉求都会受到忽视，她们的人生追求受到忽视，所以我们把这个 slogan 定成了“呃，女孩可以”，也是想唤起广泛的共鸣。呃，当然这个。肯定不是只是女孩可以，所有弱小的人都可以，你可以，我可以，大家都是可以。所以这部剧其实是想说，无论你再弱小，你都有改变自己命运的力量。所有弱小的人都可以。And I think Raul Dahl's work really celebrates、um, the idea that it is possible for people to change their circumstances and to make a better world、uh, for themselves and for. For those around them, and I think Matilda tells that story very much.、Uh, I think it's、uh, the challenge, I guess, is that his writing is so rich and is so、um, uh, detailed that, of course, turning translating that book into a musical requires new language because, of course, it's sung; it's a musical. So it required a, a composer, in this case, Tim Minchin,、uh, and a book writer, Dennis Kelly, to be able to really get to the heart of Dahl's style. And his aesthetic, and be able to translate that into musical form. And I think Tim's, you know, equally clever、uh, from a musical perspective. So somewhat, so there's there's a seamless transition from the language to the to the music. That was, of course, a big challenge. And so that I think speaks to the brilliance of the original creative team: Matthew Waters, Peter Darling, Rob Howell on design,、uh, creating a world in a way that this young actor. Could actually be protected or carried through this task that's been set for her, because much like the character Matilda,、um, who's brave and takes on、uh, the, the evils of the world,、uh, the young actors playing Matilda have to be equally brave、uh, and take on, you know, a, a two and a half hour show and carry a performance in front of sixteen hundred strangers,、um, which they do carry. You know, of course, with a lot of love and care and support around them. But it's a, there are there are all of those little nuances which which make、uh, make taking a book like Matilda and getting it translated into something that is memorable and extraordinary on the stage as a live experience quite challenging. 全剧的所有词曲都由来自澳大利亚的音乐鬼才丁文庆一手包办。
，马蒂尔达这张专辑融合了很多风格，包括摇滚、桑巴、探戈、古典，有时候一首歌里的表现形式就丰富到眼花缭乱，略感凌乱之余，又与整体气氛十分契合。Tim is, I think, you know, he's he's brilliant. He's a he's a very、um, clever wordsmith,、um, much like Roald Dahl. And I think what Tim was able to do, certainly with the school song, which you're referencing in particular, is which is particularly challenging and and as a result particularly thrilling because you, of course it's it uses the language or the letters of the alphabet and, and as a, a framework. For this particular song, which is the introduction, it's the day that Matilda goes to school for the very first time, and she arrives at the school gates of Cruncham Hall, and they're terrifying, and they're filled with older children,、um, and 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 there's this、uh, in- engagement between the young children who are new to the school and the the kids that have been there for some time,、uh, and they sort of spell out quite literally、um, the lessons that they're going to have to endure. Or suffer through it in the school, and it's it's、uh, without giving too much away.、Um, it's one of the most memorable moments I think in, in contemporary musical theatre. It's very very clever. From the literary side, the composer Damon Kinsey has made the connection between the word "love" and the word "emotion." In the literary side, 呃，上面来讲，把这个词做到了一个极致，所以呃，当他去唱这个歌的时候，大家会感受到说这个太聪明了，然后这个歌曲的词写得太好了。词曲作者丁文庆凭着这张专辑拿到了格莱美最佳音乐剧专辑奖提名，主题曲《When I Grow Up》已是百老汇观众选择的最喜爱歌曲。这首作品旋律舒缓，歌词写得非常有趣。等我长大了。我要在上班路上吃很多糖果，让人听了会心一笑，倍感亲切，彰显出音乐本身的力量。When I grow up, there's a there's a great story behind that because Matthew Gorchus, who directed the show and and was was very much part of the、uh, the driving force behind getting the show uh, um, commissioned and getting it on stage,、um, Tim had written this song and at one point Tim said to Matthew during during the workshop or rehearsal process said look I've written this song it's probably not very good but you need to you know have a listen to it and of course it's it's the mo- it's a wonderful song. It's one of the, the only songs in the show that doesn't actually t- take you anywhere as a narrative.、Um, so it, there wasn't really a, a point in the show. 接下来您将收看的是，担任此次编舞的是英国著名编舞家彼得·达林。他设计的舞蹈编排难度极高，但这群六到十二岁不等的儿童演员，统统漂亮地完成了。担任此次编舞的是英国著名编舞家彼得·达林，他设计的舞蹈编排难度极高，连有着多年舞台经验等令人惊叹的高难度舞蹈场面，统统漂亮地完成了。Look, I think Peter Darling is、um, particularly brilliant at creating a language. So what I, I think you're never really aware of. Uh, dance. Well, this is my my experience of the show. I don't think you're very, ever particularly aware of a dance number. You're aware of people executing a language, a physical language, and that's what Peter does superbly well. I mean, he's a, he's a genius in terms of creating that.、Um, there are a lot of very difficult, deceptively difficult sequences in Matilda、um, that are born out of of the need to to to, to tell a story in a particular way. So. Uh, the school song, for example, which you know takes place on the gates with the, the letter blocks of the、uh, of the alphabet, which is brilliant on on many many levels. But of course, it's it the execution of it is very particular and very challenging for the for the com- company.、Um, it's difficult for me to really, I guess, unpack what makes Peter so clever. But he just, as I said, I think he has a way of looking for. Uh, he, he uses dance as a language, as opposed to it just being a routine or a se- you know a, se- a, a sequence of dance steps. It becomes a language that that tells a story of its own. 
，在马蒂尔达的舞台上，一群音乐剧小演员凭借高超的舞台技巧，完成了一系列复杂的舞蹈设计、经典唱段。历任女主角马蒂尔达的扮演者们也不断收获着各种最佳女主角的提名和奖项。在巡演的过程中，与孩子们的相处是令人动容和难忘的。It's complicated because yes, uh, touring with children is delightful, but it is complicated, and there are obviously um, you know we we tr we travel in this instance we travel with three Matildas, um, uh, they do grow, um, and of course children um, get to a point when they they you know they 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 can't just work as adults indefinitely. So we do have a training program that is constantly in place, and we're we're almost constantly training new children. Um, so that they are ready when the the current children who are on tour with us uh, either get too old or they they you know they reach a point when they need to go home uh, for whatever reason. So it's a fairly uh, complicated, layer, uh, layered process. Um, and of course, in the case of some of the younger boys, um, you know, people grow up and the voices break and and uh, it becomes impossible um, for them to stay on. But um, it's 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 a constant. Uh, marvel for me to walk in and see how these young actors are incredibly mature in their handling of this uh, this responsibility, and they walk out there night night in and you know uh, night after night, and uh, somehow remain quite unfazed by the challenge that 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 we put in front of them. They quite uh, and as I said earlier, I think that's one of the remarkable things they echo. Um, the braveness that Matilda is a character that 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 the authors have written about, um, there you see it for in in real life by these these young actors just being incredibly brave with the, the journey that they go on every night. But it's a to go back to your question, it is a difficult process, and there are a lot of people involved in that. There are a lot of people that are continuously working in the background, training. Um, the, the children, and indeed, once they're here, they go through a very particular, very regulated uh, process every day. Uh, they work with. We have a resident director uh, who works with them every day before the performance. They have what's called Matilda time every day before the performance. So there's a lot of work that goes into trying to protect them and to be uh, look after them because it's quite a big, big job that they have to do.《马蒂尔达》像是一部台上台下都让小孩子和大人互换身份的魔法剧。以马蒂尔达为代表的孩子给大人们上了一课：生活的不公并不意味着要一味忍受委屈，忍让沉默也不会改变任何事情。然而，让马蒂尔达变得强大的，除了他的超能力、他的高智商，更重要的是他在书本中获得了正直、自信、勇敢等内在力量。这才是他战胜一切的关键。我觉得这个剧目它的内涵是非常丰富的。呃，从小孩子的角度来讲，他们首先肯定看到的是一个比较呃剧目直白的给出的两个信息吧，一个是就是反抗不公的这个一个信息，还有一个就是阅读改变。呃，人生改变命运的呃两个非常明显的信息，呃，然后大人去看的话，他其实会从他身上看到一些自己的影子。嗯，当然根据每个人的经历和这个认知，他可能有不同的感觉。那有的人他其实童年的时候会也遭受过一些呃创伤。呃，我们也有一些。观众看到嚎啕大哭的，他其实看到了自己童年的影子。然后有一些观众，比如像我的话，我其实有个很美好的童年。但是同样在看这个故事的时候，你会去想到、回想到自己的童年，去反思说，呃，其实童年的时候还是有一些。因为年龄的原因、认知的原因，你是感到很无力的。那同时，你就会去想，现在你已经不是一个孩子了，那你时常还是会感到无力，感到无法去改变自己的人生，那还对吗？你看，马蒂尔达是一个小女孩，她还可以通过自己去推动一些事情来改变自己的命运。那成人观众去看的时候，就会反思说，那我现在是成人了，我是有力量去改变自己的命运的。所以，成人观众是会从这里边看出这一这一层的含义。I think there's much to learn from Matilda. I think she can teach us an awful lot. Um, as I said earlier, I think one of the things that I find most remarkable is her bravery. Um, and I think this idea that no matter how little you are or feel, whether you're physically little or whether you just feel little in the face of a adversity or a real challenge, it is possible um, to kind of, you know, 
take a deep breath and, and change your circumstances. It's, it is possible to make the world a better place. It is possible to uh, make your life and the lives of those around you better. Um, and we all have a bit of magic inside us. And I think that's the wonderful lesson of, of Matilda. That's the wonderful kind of idea that the story sparks. Um, is that it, it, and it also doesn't have to be big. It can be, it, you can change your world and by reading a great book or being kind to somebody who you meet for the first time or it, it, you know, there, there, it doesn't need to be, you know, by changing the world you can change tiny little things around you at any given point for the better. And I think, as, as I said, I think that's the, the most incredibly exciting thing that I um, take away from the show every time I look at it. Um, that and the idea of, of being brave, which I think is, is a, is a uh, sort of a superpower in its own. 以上就是今天节目的全部内容，非常感谢各位的收看，让我们下一次再见。下期您将收看的是，二零一九上海图书馆名家手稿珍藏展，在电子书写盛行的时代，重温手写的温度，寻找名家先贤思想的脉络。